rustic. Yeah, it's really very rustic, but it was big. And it was kind of cool because it was like, Hey everybody, it's Wilderness Northwest, and today I want to make a video about um, some skid plates that I just got for my uh, wilderness. So there's a lot of debate about which skid plates that you should get, and there's a, a bunch of different manufacturers that you could go with. I live uh, in the Portland area, and so there's actually a lot of uh, different uh, options for me. We have Rally Tech, we have Primitive Racing, um, we have um, Anderson Design and Fabrication is also out here. Iron Man's out here. So there's a lot of choices. Uh, but I went ahead and went with uh, the skid plates from Primitive Racing. And I'll uh, just kind of tell you a little bit about why I went uh, with that brand. Uh, my first thought was to go with Rally Tech skid plates. But uh, if you look at the, the thickness on them... They're, they're actually only an eighth of an inch thick, which I just felt was not going to be um, thick enough to take a beating out on, on the trail. If you look at the uh, skid plates on, say, like a Toyota uh, 4Runner, they're, they're a quarter inch thick aluminum. Uh, the, a lot of the skid plates for Subaru are actually three sixteenths of an inch, um, so a little shy of a quarter inch, but still pretty heavy duty. Uh, so today I got the, the engine skid plate as well as the transmission skid plate, CVT skid plate, and also I got the, uh, rear diff skid plate. So three skid plates and the, the awesome thing about primitive racing is they, uh, gave me a 15% discount or, or anyone if you order all three. So that's what I, what I went with. Um, I, I think I walked out the door. I spent about a, uh, $711 total. And the guy at Primitive, uh, his name is Blake. He, he waived the installation fee, um, treated me great, did it same day. Um, so I can't recommend enough, uh, about, uh, the Primitive skid plates. I want to talk about ground clearance for a minute because there are some skid plates out there, in particular the LP Adventure skid plate, uh, where it's a good skid plate, uh, but you're going to lose, I, I think, over an inch or inch and a half of ground clearance from what I've heard from some other views on YouTube. So you just want to be mindful of the skid plate that you get and how much ground clearance you're going to lose. Now, some have said there's concern with um, skid plates that are mounted to the area where the the, the factory plas uh, plastic guard is mounted, and they're worried that uh, it might get pushed in. You get a skid plate on there, you know, you bash it against a rock, it gets pushed up into the engine, and it causes serious damage. But um, definitely looking at the primitive skid plate, there is plenty of clearance uh, between the skid plate and the engine. If I were to hit something, uh, it would have to really push it up pretty far before it would, um, you know, hit the engine, cause any damage like that. I think I would say I have probably over an inch, maybe even two inches um, of give there. So it would have to really take a beating. Uh, for me to be worried about that. Um, you know, ground clearance is, it's expensive to get better ground clearance. 
and I just can't justify a skid plate that's going to make me lose, you know, an inch or more of ground clearance. So all things considered, I've uh, been super happy so far. I haven't tested them on the trail yet, but um, definitely going to do that soon. And I will definitely uh, film a video and show it all to you later.